We're making a drone with a didgeridoo vibe using these eight modules. The star of this show is the palette by Atelier. There's a link to a patch storage where you can download this patch in the description if you'd like to mess with it. This is what the drone sounds like. These are some examples of me using this drone. Start with your favorite mixer attached to an audio module. I like the Mixmaster and the Auxbander combo. If the Auxbander is in proximity to the Mixmaster, then you can aux in effects easily with no extra cables between the mixer and the Auxbander. I have this set up as my default template, so when I make a new project, all of this is automatically here and ready to run. If you want to change your default template, you can do that by clicking File, then Overwrite Template, and selecting OK. Let's bring in our first sound. Here's the palette. For this patch, we will click through the tonal button until it's at the virtual harmonics oscillator. I'm going to crank the harmonics down, the bumps up, and the width up. I'm going to drop it down an octave and turn the harmonics oscillator mix almost all the way left. We're setting this up so that when we modulate it, it gives us that quick harmonics wobble that is uh, reminiscent of a didgeridoo. Now for the modulation, we're going to bring in an oct. We're using a feature of the oct called the feedback LFO. We're going to feedback an output to the CV input and turn the attenuverter positive. Now we bring in an add 5, and this makes the bipolar waves from the oct unipolar and allows us to essentially turn the knob in one direction from where we have it set through modulation. Here's how it looks on the scope. Two outputs from the oct to the add 5, and then into the timbre CV input and the morph CV input. Turn the timbre attenuverter up a little bit and the morph attenuverter down a little bit. Mess with the spread number of voices to taste. I personally like three. Now we have an LFO modulating the timbre and the morph of the palette, and it gives us harmonics, uh, wobbles, and this is what it sounds like. Let's bring in the effects via the aux in now. I'm going to add a plateau and a chrono blob too. These are reverb and delay respectively. Aux these in by connecting the inputs and outputs to the aux bander and turn up the values for channel 1 to taste. I'm going to spread the right and left delay on the chrono blob too. Let's do minus 20 on the left and plus 20 on the right. Here's how it sounds with the effects. Let's add two more voices. I'm going to bring in a bleak and a basil. I'm going to drop the basil down one octave and the bleak down two. Next, I'm going to hook up some of the outs from the oct to modulate these oscillators. Turn all the attenuverters up just a little bit. I'm going to run the bleak through a feline low pass filter and now just plug everything in and mix it. Let's add a little bit of the effects to these. These added voices help the drone sound more full and round. Here's how they sound on their own. And here's how the drone sounds with all of the voices. That's all for this one. There's a link to the patch storage where you can download this patch in the description. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. If you like this kind of content, you can let me know that by liking and subscribing. I'll catch you in the next one.